Hey there, I was just about to eat a packet of my most favorite food in the whole wide world. Whiskers. Silly Science with Simon is not sponsored by Whiskers. <coughs> oh no. And that was the last bag as well. Hang on a minute. Sweet, I've got everything here that I need to make my own whiz. I mean, that I need to make my own shirt with. Want to learn how to make it and why it fizzes in your mouth? Then let's get science. Sherbet is actually really easy to make and you don't need to be an experienced chef like me to be able to do it. Start by adding one tablespoon of jelly crystals. This will give your sherbet its flavour, so make sure you choose something that you like. Um. Next, add one tablespoon of icing sugar to your bowl. This will make your sherbet taste nice and sweet. <coughs> Lastly, we're gonna add some citric acid powder and bicarb soda. It's really sour. Maybe the bicarb soda will taste a bit better. Ugh, that just tastes Salty. This actually tastes a lot better when it's all mixed together. Add half a teaspoon of each to your bowl. And give it all a good stir. Now for the taste test. That is really good. I can feel it fizzing in my mouth. This is it fizzing on a spoon because showing it fizzing in my mouth would be kind of gross. That recipe again, one tablespoon of jelly crystals, one tablespoon of icing sugar, half a teaspoon of citric acid powder, and half a teaspoon of bicarb soda. The science of sherbet is very similar to the reaction between vinegar and bicarb soda that we saw in episode three. Acids, like vinegar and citric acid, react with bicarbonates, like sodium bicarbonate, to form a salt, water and carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide forms tiny bubbles in your mouth which pop and give you that fizzing sensation. In their solid powder form these two chemicals react with each other really really slowly but as soon as we add water, say by putting the sherbet in our mouth, they dissolve and react a lot faster. Now kids, we've just made a lot of sherbet, and it's mostly sugar, so only have a little bit at a time. I'm going to save the rest of mine in this paper bag to have once I've finished my dinner. But here's something for when you do go to eat it. There's only one thing that's better than eating a sugary treat, and that's... Using a sugary treat to eat the sugary treat. Thank you for watching this episode of Silly Science with Simon where we learn how to make whiskers and what makes a fizz. Thank you for watching, make sure you like, subscribe, tell all your friends, keep coming back for more episodes and I'll see you next time.